everyone, I'm Chef Ambrose here. Today I'll be showing you how to cook sweet and sour fish. Okay, so now we are cutting the fish fillet. So this is the fish steak. So we will take out the bone. take out the bone and then uh, the middle bone we will bring out and then later we'll take out the side bone If you can uh, buy a fish, uh, just uh, not the steak but a fillet, it will be much better. So from the fillet, you can uh, straight away slice your fish. And uh, each uh, piece later will be about 40 grams in weight. Okay. Because uh, we don't want the fish to be two big pieces then we can cut half then we can slice half again yes so it's uh, easier to cook this way And uh, after that, we're going to marinate the fish. So you can actually uh, use uh, even uh, salmon fillet if you want to. And uh, make sure your fish has to be fresh. So the fish uh, have to be not have any smell, not slimy, and the flesh is always firm to the touch. Okay. Next we're going to marinate the fish. I have some tips here to share with you. For sweet and sour fish, maybe you do not like fish. You can uh, substitute the fish with uh, other seafood like uh, prawns or uh, mussel or shellfish. Okay. If you don't like the seafood, you can substitute with uh, meat like chicken or pork. Okay. Uh, if you do have any question, please do post uh, your question on our website and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, we are going to season the fish with... Uh, okay, use your finger and then you just grab uh, two pinch of uh, pink salt. Okay. Into the fish, sprinkle over. We don't want to over season the fish and uh, a bit of pepper powder, a pinch. Okay, let's sprinkle a bit and then uh, we start season the fish first. Okay, mix well. So using a chopstick. Okay, then we will coat the fish pieces with the corn flour the big bowl of corn flour okay. yeah. so we pour the corn flour over the fish we just want to uh, evenly coat the fish with the corn flour and when we fry it it gives a, a bit of a crispy texture over the fish okay. 
If you need more, you just uh, pour a bit more corn flour so it's evenly coated all over the fish. Now we will get ready the oil to fry the fish. Okay, so the onion we will cut half and cut cube. Okay. Yes, cut to three cube. So you don't cut too small because later we are going to fry it. So almost the same size as a uh, capsicum. So uh, white onion is better for this dish. Then okay. uh, next we are going to cut the tomato. So tomato we are also going to cut into a large cube. So we cut into six, uh, cut into three wedges and later we half the wedges. Okay. Yes, remove the stalk, the eye of the tomato. So we try to keep the seed and everything so it's okay to go into the sauce. So we will cut, one tomato is enough, so it's better to use a ripe tomato, okay? Okay, done. Okay, we pour some oil onto the hot pan, it's about a cup of oil. Okay, we put in the fish when the oil temperature reaches uh, 160. So we will gently place the fish into the hot oil. Okay. We just want to uh, fry until it's a bit golden brown. Don't, uh, do not overcut your frying pan. Okay. This uh, will uh, lower down the oil. Lower down the heat of the oil. Okay. So we'll uh, fry both sides of the fish. Okay. To golden brown. So the uh, corn starch uh, coating over the fish actually will protect the fish from uh, falling into the pieces. So we will form a layer of coating over the fish. And the fish will be a bit uh, crispy. At the same time it's going to absorb the water from the fish. So we can uh, flip over the oh. So we'll flip the fish over. And the other side is already brown. Okay, both sides is brown. So we will uh, pour out 
with the oil, we'll do our strainer. Okay, so the pan is hot, so we'll put, just put a bit of oil. Okay, not too much. We'll fry the onion first. So just be careful. Okay, because uh, we need to fry the onion to its uh, bit even. Garlic and then uh, followed by the capsicum. Tomato will go in uh, last, so we'll put a bit of. We we'll put in the tomato sauce. Okay, a bit of the salt, a bit of the water. Okay. That's a bit to degrade the pan. Then we we'll add in the sugar. Vinegar. Tomato. And then we will we'll thicken the sauce with the cornstarch. Okay, before we finish, we will thicken with a starch, a little starch. of salt, pinch of salt. Okay, the sauce looks nice. Uh, we can uh, put the fish in or you can pour the sauce over the fish. So today we'll just pour in the fish, give it a quick toast, and then onto a plate. Then we'll garnish with a few sprinkles of uh, coriander leaf on top. Hello, 
we have the ingredient. Uh, the main ingredient is uh, uh, cream of sweet corn. If you cannot get cream of sweet corn, you can get the whole corn kernel. And then we will just blend it so you can get the cream of sweet corn. And then over here, I have an egg to thicken it. Uh, fresh crab meat. If you can't get fresh crab meat, uh, you can use the crab stick as a substitute. <coughs> and then uh, I'm going to add uh, minced ginger, a bit of pepper powder, white pepper powder, chicken seasoning, and then the uh, spring onion for garnish. <coughs> and uh, we're going to add uh, water. Okay. So we're going to fry the uh, ginger and crab meat. Okay. Because just to remove the uh, crab meat smell. Add a bit of oil and then uh, I'll fry. Okay, I'll fry this ginger. After that, I'll add in the cremit. Let's do fry for a minute. Okay, okay Then uh, I'm going to Here. Now this is a cup of uh, water and I'm going to add my sweet corn in here. Bring it to a boil. I'm going to add my seasoning, pepper powder. And the crab meat and ginger. So I'll just let it bring the boil. Okay, in the sweet corn crab meat soup, you can add, uh, you want to add vegetable, so you can add some vegetable, like uh, some carrot, mushroom. But I just prefer my one. Uh, <coughs> plain sweet corn okay. because there's a lot of sweetness in the soup you don't have to add any sugar so now I'm going to do a egg drop okay, into the soup so I'm going to whisk my egg okay. you can see it's quite thick okay. low fire low heat then slowly okay. so and then you can see the egg drop forming in the soup okay. yeah. so the soup is slowly thicken because the uh, egg also uh, helps to thicken the uh, sweet corn soup. Okay, so let it uh, cook for a while. Just uh, while well, skim out the scum. some tip for you for the soup. If you uh, don't like to put crab meat, you can substitute with uh, other meat like shredded chicken or even uh, uh, small pieces of shrimps. Uh, if you are a vegetarian, you can uh, omit all the uh, 
seafood. You can substitute with uh, uh, fresh uh, sliced uh, shiitake mushroom or any other hard vegetable like uh, carrots or frozen vegetable. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates instantly. Also, join our Facebook group Food Click and share your cooking videos with us. Thank you. Bye bye.